Joining me now from Southern California, Chairman and Director of Combat Veterans for Congress, PAC, Captain Joseph John, United States Navy, retired. Uh, Joe, what's the one thing, before we talk about Ace Lines, what's the one thing that you would like me and, and, and the rest of the folks watching this to take away about Admiral Lyons? Admiral Lyons was a real patriot, loved his country, protected and defended the U.S. Constitution, and uh, was a real fighter. You served with uh, Ace Lyons. Uh, I hate to say it, it's 50 years ago, right? 1967, uh, Six-Day War. Uh, you were uh, uh, working under Ace Lyons. He was your commanding officer, correct? That's correct. I was his weapons department head officer. What, uh, what did you glean from this deployment and working with Ace Lyons? As I said, he, he was a real patriot and a fighter, and he was ready to do anything to protect and defend the United States. In 1985, he rose to the ranks. We're skipping a lot of years here, obviously, by the time we go to, from 67 to 85. But he rose to the ranks, the highest ranks, right, of, of the United States Navy, four-star admiral, commander of the Pacific <coughs> Fleet. And he did so at a crucial juncture in our history. It, it, they picked the right man at the right time. Because you're talking about the Cold War here, right? Yes. And Ronald Reagan, uh, if he were alive today and was part of this conversation, uh, he would credit Ace Lyons, would he not, as part of uh, the victory of the Cold War? Yeah, the maritime strategy was an important strategy to build a 600-ship navy. And uh, the Russians were having a very difficult time keeping up. And Ace Lyons was deploying the Third Fleet to Vladivostok and various places to keep them on their toes. In other words, it was a show of force at, at, at a time, or maybe not necessarily using force, but certainly uh, the possibility of, of, of doing so, uh, at a very uh, stressful time, militarily speaking, in, in the height of the Cold War. Uh, and, but he was also the father of the Red Cell Warriors. And this is a very elite group of Navy SEALs, correct? That's correct. The, the purpose of the Red Cell was to strengthen the security of military bases, Navy ships throughout the world. 36 years of military service. Then after his service, he, he got out, and he was still very active, uh, opened up a business, uh, a consulting firm, I believe, and uh, out of the Washington, D.C. area. Um, um, and he uh, was very active in a political sense as well. In other words, he was not afraid to speak up when he saw something going wrong in this country, correct? That's correct. Most uh, retired flag and general officers tend to hold back because they don't, don't think it's proper, but Ace didn't care. He, he rejected politically correct, right? That's correct. And, and he was uh, pro-border wall, we should point out, right? <laughs> to the end? To the end. He was strong for security on the southern border. And he was not afraid... <laughs> Uh, even though, of course, uh, when he was admiral, he had to answer to the commander-in-chief. Once he became a civilian, retired in, in the Navy, he was not afraid to stand up to the 44th president, the commander-in-chief at that time. This would be Barack Obama. And this is what put Ace Lyons on the map. When I saw this video, I said to myself, I've got to get this gentleman on the program, and we did. And here's a little clip for it. It's about 30 seconds long. He's talking about Islam and Barack Obama. Roll tape. Until you recognize that Islam is a political movement masquerading as a religion, you're never going to catch, come to grips with it. And as Admiral. far as a strategy, let me just conclude Last one point. thing. And as I just had in my latest op-ed, the Obama administration has a strategy. It's very simple. Any thinking American should be able to grasp it. It's anti-American, anti-Western, it's pro-Islamic, it's pro-Iranian, and pro-Muslim Brotherhood. Anti-American, pro-Muslim Brotherhood. He was very, very concerned about the Muslim Brotherhood infiltration in this country, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, the, all the agencies in Washington for over an eight-year period were infiltrated by the Muslim Brotherhood. And, of course, the Muslim Brotherhood has been designated an international terrorist organization by Egypt, Russia, Saudi Arabia, UAE, um, Bahrain, and other countries. 
And unfortunately, the Obama administration opened the door to the Muslim Brotherhood. Any final thoughts you'd like to leave us with about Ace Lions? I, I appreciate this opportunity to let the American people know who Ace Lyons was. He was a Patton-like admiral uh, who was special during his period of operations. And he had a wife of 66 years who died on November 1st, 2018, this year. Uh, a wife of 66 years. 43 days later, uh, Ace Lyons would die. Joe, we want to thank you for your service and thank you for your insight into this American treasure. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.